So what I'm saying is sort of as a general overview of the pedal in the, in the sustain section where the harmonic rhythm is different. You have more voices and it's more harmonic than the beginning, definitely more harmonic. So this first upbeat to the section, no pedal. Suddenly yeah. here, yes, because that's going to warm it up. Now I need to come off for this because obviously that will blur that half step B flat to B. Now here I would play this pedal down. Then I would come up off yeah. the pedal, because now I have this gorgeous harmony, right? This is the two chord, F minor, is the two chord of E flat major. Now there's no pedal until pedal here. Yes, come off the pedal. Now I'm not on it. Now on the appoggiatura, yes, but no on the resolution. And you can see why, because if I pedaled it over here, you get a mess. You get. So, so you can see where I'm putting it. Now let me continue. So this is pedal, no pedal, no pedal. But guess what? Pedal here, of course, because this is a long note. Now remember, this is going to go quicker. So I'm not going to be wanting to pump pedal every five seconds. Now here, no pedal. Now here, pedal on this. Off. Now no pedal here. Too many steps too many steps. Now pedal here, but come off on the G. No pedal, no pedal, no pedal, no pedal, nothing there. Now again, pedal long notes. No pedal here. Pedal, pagetura, lift on the resolution. No pedal here. Yes, pedal here. No pedal. Pedal, no pedal. See, see what I'm sort of trying to do here? So, you know, you can tell that when you have steps or half steps, you don't want to be getting blurs. When you have long chords, yes, you want it. And as Pagetura, when you're leaning on the first part, before you resolve, then dab the pedal. Now remember, this is going to go quicker. So you're going to do, the pedal isn't going to be staying down so long. It's going to be a, a, a quicker pedal because you're moving faster, right? When you go into a faster tempo. That yeah. obviously has to happen. So if you went to this. See? Your foot's going to be moving more quickly because it's faster. But it's the same pedal I showed you in slow motion. Now that's just a suggested pedal. And to me that, make, that pedaling makes sense. Right. Otherwise it gets kind of dry in that in that oh, section. Yeah. And this is the section that's asking for pedal more than the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously you don't want to pedal that or else you get a mess. So the rule of pedal more or less is where you have a chord or you're moving in skips, you, yeah. you're more likely to use the pedal. Or at the end of a cadence where you just want to warm the, the end of the cadence with a longer note. But I would go in the middle section with the longer notes. And when you have things like, why would we pedal? It goes too fast, and the pedal will be pumping up and down way too fast, and it doesn't accomplish anything. Um, so really, the pedal seems to be pretty much needed in 17 to, you know, in the 17 and 18 and 19 on the long notes. Uh, on yeah. 25, things are moving kind of quickly. Right, so your foot's going to come up. And so it's just like, when you play pedal, you just the end of your foot, the ball of your foot comes up a little off the pedal, right? So when you got here, this is pedal off. And then this is pedal. And then this is no pedal. And this is pedal off. Or here it's whatever. We're doing this one, right? F E flat. Yeah. Right. So, so, yeah. Because I remember it used to be A flat G. Now it's F E F. We're using the F E flat, right? We're using the lower notes. And you know what? I'm just thinking how I would apply the pedal. Now you can do the pedal after you play the chord. You know that? And in fact, it's a little bit more predictable if you play first and then you put the pedal down. Just like you do a legato pedal. You know, have a delayed pedal. Do you know what I'm talking about? So here's what I mean. Play this, now put it down right after you play it. That's really the technique. Because if you do a legato pedal, remember how I told you? You play the note and then you go up down, play the note up down, 
Now here's a case where there's no pedal here, but you can put it down right after you play the chord immediately. Now let's see what happens here. Same thing here, then off. And down. See what I do? I have a delayed pedal. I play the note first and then I put the pedal down. Discover that, where the pedal has to go quicker. Here it doesn't. Yes, I would agree. I would agree. Right when you play that, put the pedal down and then release it for the resolution. Agreed. Absolutely yeah. agreed. Yeah, that's exactly right. It, the, yes. Yeah, it really makes it nice to have that warmth. It takes a little practice of coordinating, you know, the coordination. Yes. So that, that section is the one that really needs it a lot. The next one's moving, oh well, in 29 that comes back, right? 29, you got the half, half note back again. Pedal, no pedal, pe pedal off, pedal now, off, uh, no pedal here. Some people might pedal this one note to give it warmth, take it off. I might go pedal off. See, I just do the very beginning and I dab it and it doesn't want to last very long. Here, see how nice that is? Experimentation, you know, for you to use your ear a lot, like what sounds good. But I did pedal the A flat. I did because it stays with this nice harmony, doesn't it? Then I got off it. Here I don't want it, but here, just at the beginning, off. I don't want it anymore, but now I want it again. See? See how nice that is. I think it's going to give us the mood switch that we need in that middle section. Um, same for the coda. Really doesn't need pedal either. And at the end, you will need it where when you do this. I would. For the for each one, I'd give it a pedal. And some people might not. Let's see what would happen. Too dry without. Much too dry. Listen. It's way too dry for that. Yeah, I, I want a little bit of, because it came out of this. Yeah, it's, you know, your touch is everything. The pedal just gives you the... Um, the polish on the touch. The touch has to be underlying what you rehearsed without the pedal.